What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and I am back with yet another Slipknot mask unboxing. Now, in today's video, not only are we unboxing a pretty unique mask, but we are also adding a mask to a very specific and underlooked area of my collection. It is obviously a Slipknot mask, as I said, but it is a Paul Gray mask, and and as you guys may or may not know, I am pretty lacking in my Paul Gray department. I do have Paul Gray masks, of course, I just don't have that many. So when you line them up on this same wall with, let's say, Joey Jordison or Sid Wilson or Clown, it looks a little lackluster in comparison. But we are slowly but surely changing that over the course of the last few years. And in today's video, we get to add yet another mask to the Paul Gray section. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, not only is it a Paul Gray mask, but it's a pretty unique Paul Gray mask. So let's go ahead and jump on into the package and see what we've got. Now, this item was sent in by return sender and longtime patron, Mr. Cody Hatfield, aka the Cozy Collector over on Instagram, whose information I will be dropping down below if you guys would like to go check him out and maybe even purchase a Paul Gray mask of your own. So this is going to be the second Paul Gray mask that we have received from him here on the this channel. It will be the second Paul Gray mask that he has in my collection here. And I think I like this one a little bit more than the first one that he sent in. So the first one that he sent in was a pretty basic All Hope Is Gone Paul Gray mask. And this is yet again another All Hope Is Gone Paul Gray mask. But the uniqueness comes from the finish that is on the mask. So I will go ahead and unwrap this from the packing material and give you guys the first look at it. And you can make your minds up for yourself on if it is a rad piece or not. I have seen photos of it, and of course, I think it's pretty dope, or else I wouldn't be making a video on it. So, we'll go ahead and turn it around here for myself, and I can take a look at it. Yeah, definitely, definitely like this piece. I think this is probably my favorite finish on any All Hope Is Gone Paul. I just really love how flat that is. I love the way that the face paint smears go along the face here, and it's just super, super simple, super basic, very subtle, and I'm a firm believer that less is more, which is exactly what we get from this piece. So as you can see, this is a gorgeous Paul Gray All Hope Is Gone replica, and I mean that from start to finish. The sculpt itself is probably the best sculpt out there and clearly the finish speaks for itself that is a gorgeous gorgeous finish and everything from the added elastic straps on the side to the heavy duty over the head leather and metal work back there this thing is just phenomenal from start to finish so what is so unique about this copy I keep using the word unique to explain this copy so let me go ahead and explain exactly what I mean by that the reason that this is a unique all hope is gone Paul Gray mask is because this is the not fest museum version we really haven't seen this version of the mask anywhere besides for the not fest museum Museum. So whether or not Paul ever wore this is still up for debate. Maybe there's somebody out there that has some sort of proof of Paul wearing this, but in my humble opinion, I believe that this was just a copy that was made for the Knotfest Museum. I don't know why, but Paul seemed to have really bad luck with his masks, either always falling apart or giving them away. I don't think too many Paul Gray masks that were worn by Paul actually exist anymore. And if they do, they're probably in the hands of a collector such as Lou Brutus, who I guess isn't really a mask collector. He's more of just like a music memorabilia collector because he's had the hookup with different musicians for so long. And a stage-worn Paul Gray mask is just one of the very cool items that he's received over the course of his lifetime. Regardless, this mask exists in the Knotfest Museum, and my best guess is that they had one made for the Knotfest Museum just to kind of showcase a little more love for Paul. The reason that I don't see this being unfathomable, aside for the fact that Paul's masks seem to just disappear, is because they've done this with other masks. We definitely saw a lot of prototype masks or masks created just for the Knotfest Museum thrown amongst a lot of other used ones. And this one just seems very, very new in the photos and videos of it being showcased in the Knotfest Museum. Obviously, a lot of the stage used masks that we see in the Knotfest Museum are pretty aged and weathered and beat up. And even on some of the replicas or newer copies of masks that were created just to go in the Knotfest Museum, they still show a lot of character from being 
being moved around. Maybe they are prototypes or they were just unused variants that never really were used but were always kind of kept around. This one looks a lot newer than those. So I'm dubbing this the Knotfest Museum Paul and now we have a beautiful, beautiful replica of it. Is this the first replica of the All Hope Is Gone Knotfest Museum Paul? I don't know, but I will say it's the first that I've seen, so that's pretty cool. I think Cody absolutely killed this thing. I think it's a fantastic replica and I definitely think that it is very, very much appreciated and welcomed here at the House of Masks because we just don't do enough Paul Gray stuff. Obviously, I would always, always love to change that and Cody hooking us up with these pieces means the world to me. So, the newest addition to the Paul Gray and the Slipknot collection as a whole, the Knotfest Museum All Hope Is Gone Paul Gray Mask. As I mentioned earlier, if you guys like what you see and would like to go pick one up for yourself, I will be dropping all of Cody's information down below. Make sure to go check him out over on Instagram at The Cozy Collector. And even if you don't plan on buying something, just go over there and show him some love, give him a follow, drop a couple hearts on his photos, and let him know that the House of Masks sent you so maybe he'll keep hooking us up with cool stuff in the future. Now with all of that out of the way, we really don't have too much more left to do. You guys know what time it is. It is time for some nice up close shots of this piece so that you can see all of the beautiful, beautiful detail and that will be that. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. Until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to masks that smell good and we'll see you guys in the next one.